I'm trying to do my part for the environment by buying fluorescent bulbs, but I find that there are some challenges with them. So I'm with B from Naomi's Lampshades. And one of the first things I found is they don't really fit all the time. So what's my problem? Well, a lot of people come home, the good husbands, and say, we're going to put this in our lamp now because that's the environmental thing to do, right. the green thing. And they try to put it in. Well, it's not going to fit because maybe they have a small little heart. So they come to us and they say, I want one of these, but I want about three inches bigger. Make, make, it, make it bigger, make it fit. Oh, yeah. And they might come home. And we give them one that's two or three inches bigger, and they can put the bulb in. The only problem is, maybe this was their shade that took that small heart, and now all of a sudden it's not so pretty, so, because you see a lot of coming out the bottom. So maybe you need to have me bring in my lamp and my well, shade? Well, that would be really nice if you bring in your lamp, your shade, and on the light bulb. So then you can make everything fit all well, together. And we'll tell you if we should do that because a lot of times when you're using a light bulb like this, it's going to give out different colors than what you really want. And you've decorated your whole room around certain colors. Now you're going to put in this light bulb and it's going to change all of your beautiful colors to something that you really don't want. You'll so you're not recommending that I use these throughout my house? That's exactly correct. Okay. You can use these in areas where like with this darker shade, it's not going to bother the color of the shade so much, but try them in your home. And that's what you have to really see what you have. And if you're going to be using like a light colored shade, that's when you're really going to see it. Sometimes these will even turn almost blue. Okay. And when you have all your colors that are in the greens and the yellows, blue isn't the color you want to pull out. So what areas in the house would you definitely really not want to use them? Well, you'd have to try them if you have light colored shades. If you have dark shades in your room, like let's say a black one like this, and no light's going to be coming through, so that you can use your fluorescent bulbs in here, and you're not going to have that distortion of color. So really, the type of area is, is pretty important. So I can probably use these in a basement, maybe in my garage, maybe in my, my porch, but my wife might not really like it for putting on her makeup because she won't get the oh, natural light. Absolutely. No, I never recommend these for in the bathroom where you're putting your makeup on. Okay. Because it's going to give you funny colors and I look really washed out underneath these. In fact, sometimes people come in because we have them out in the store and they ask me if I'm sick when I stand underneath the not, one light. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. So fluorescent bulbs are okay, but what you need to do is you need to bring your lamp, your lampshade, bring it down to Naomi's and get the professionals to help. We'll fix you all up.